Hello and welcome to another episode of Glue Studios. I'm Paul, your host, and uh, today we'll be showing you a little bit how we created Minecraft Office. I know a lot of you have been asking for some tutorials on how we did it. We're going to show you a little breakdown of a shot and then move into maybe how to composite a diamond, I don't know, something a little valuable in the Minecraft world. Um, it's going to look something like this. And it's going to be amazing. I'm going to throw you to Adrian right now, and he's going to show you some cool stuff. So here we are. We have Paul. Magical hands. We're going to actually put that diamond here. We're going to figure where we want that diamond to start. Let's grab our diamond, throw it into our comp. Let's size this diamond up to the correct size. That is not the diamond I'm grabbing there. Why am I not grabbing the diamond? Diamond. Give me your power, diamond. Make our diamond roughly the size we want it to be. That's a pretty good size. Nice big heavy rock, cause cause he's uh, all about the bling. Yeah, Paul, being about the bling. Let's start out by putting our diamond here where his hands are, and then he goes whoosh, and that's where it should land, right over there. So let's toggle down our position here. Let's track our position. That's uh, definitely should have done that here, where I should have went. Look, a keyframe there, and this is where it should be landing. So now it's gonna land here. Zip. That is straight up. That gives me a little bit of trajectory. So now, -da -da -da. easy ease. So now it eases in. Whoosh. Beautiful. Now, let's give it about 30 frames. 30 frames here to make it go up and down. So now that we have it landing, we want it to go back up. 20 to 50. Make this 50. I'll make this go straight up. Oop. Come, my diamond. Straight up. Floating. And now we're going to zoom in and adjust our keyframes so these aren't wonky. As you can see how it dips down here in the last little second, well, we don't really want that. We want this to be almost dead center, so it goes like that. And then we want to take this keyframe here, which should be a keyframe. Oh, good. And that one is going straight up. And that is exactly what we want. And then we can go another 30. So what do we got? We got 50 plus 30 is 50, 60, 70, 80, 80. We want to go to 80. And we'll throw the other keyframe in. And now, these should dip down and then dip back up. Boink. Copy all three of these keyframes, and then we can just go copy paste a couple times. Look at that. Now, yank, it repeats itself. Yay, repeating. So, now we have our diamond that is bobbing up and down on Paul's desk, as you can see. Bob, bob, bob. And it's easing in and out so it doesn't look like it's like coming to a hard stop and then going down. It slowly comes down and then it goes back up, slowly back up. So now we need to make it so there's a reflection because there's a reflection on his desk here. So what we'll do is we'll duplicate that diamond. So we have two of them. And then we'll add a flip to that diamond. So it's all flipped. And then we will take this diamond, uh, again, toggle down in position, grab all our keyframes. And we will grab our keyframe and we're going to pull it down. About there, so we're actually we're not actually adjusting any of our our positions here. We're actually adjusting the entire thing, and we are going to we are going to bring it straight down from there. So straight down. What we don't want to see is the fact that this diamond and this diamond are going up and down in unison. They should be going together, so they should be coming together and then away from each other because that's what reflections do. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this keyframe, and I'm going to paste it here. Okay. Now I'm going to grab all my keyframes again. So, whoop. That's one way of doing it. And I'm going to lower this down. So grab this keyframe. Ah. So there we go. Now that is where they will meet. Now we're going to copy this keyframe. The long and short of what I'm doing here is I'm reversing my keyframes. So the keyframes that were up are now down, with the keyframes that are down are now up. So now the diamond goes like it's supposed to, because that's how reflections work. This last keyframe we have to adjust again is flipping around like this. Wing. Done. So now, both of our diamonds are flashing in unison. Let's take this uh, diamond that we just worked on, and we'll change the opacity of it down to about 10%. So our reflection actually looks like a kind of a reflection there. Look at that. It looks like a reflection. And the second to last thing we have to do is we have to put a shadow in here, because this diamond will be creating a little bit of a shadow as it's getting close to the desk. So let's create a shadow for this diamond by creating this thing right here. Black solid. And then creating a mask. Look at this. You can't even see what's going on. This is this is the final product, just a black screen. That's what that's what you guys are gonna get. Let's zoom in here so we can actually see what we're doing. 
make it so this mask looks all nice like we like this mask and we like this little black shadow but it, it shouldn't be black it should be different colors so let's let's give two things let's give it a tint yeah tinting let's tint that oh yeah what's that what's that this black this black shadow here is now the color of the shadow over here oh my god that is absurd and amazing so now it actually matches things in the scene that's crazy let's also add a fast blur if you don't know what a fast blur is it's a blur that is really fast so, technical, really. Look at that. So quick. This is that's why they call it a fast blur. Is it just works really quickly, I guess. Anyways, so, boosh, we have gadooshing action happening on our diamond there. So it looks like a shadow. Doesn't that look fantastic? But, oh wait, it is not fantastic yet. Don't start congratulating yourself until the work is fully done. So, let's just bring the shadow down. There we go. Look, shadow looks almost amazing. But... We need to we need to we need some add some awesomeness to this shadow. This shadow, as the diamond gets higher, should get bigger and less visible. And when it gets lower, it should be well this visible because that looks about right. So let's add um, an opacity, um, a scale, and a position to that. And we're also going to do an anchor point because our anchor point needs to be right here, where compared to right now, it's right there. So we actually have to adjust our anchor point first. So clock our anchor point, and then we're going to adjust um, our little shadow so it's properly lined up with our anchor point. And then we're actually going to grab our anchor point and put it back where we wanted it. Look at that! Fantastic. So now this is where the, this is where the diamond is at its lowest point, and we're going to drag to where it's at its highest point, and we're going to scale up because we've been now tracking. As you see, we following everything these will be making keyframes we're gonna make it bigger and we're gonna make it so it's less uh, more more transparent so it's less opaque so now it is goes from nice dark color whoop, and smaller not so noticeable color copy pasting oh look at that look at that shadow it's bouncing up and down now we need to make it so this shadow follows underneath our diamond here and how we do that is we take this and we go, oh, oh my god, I just moved it over. That's insane. How do you just move things over? Scale it up. What's that? This is crazy. Crazy talk, Adrian. I just see you just rambling. That's what I'm doing now. Now, the diamond right around here is almost directly above it. So let's put another key point right here. And we're going to drag these in really small so we're not really getting much movement. Look at that. So easy. So easy. Ta-da. Whoosh. Uh, I don't like that. This is where you, this is where you get really up, up, up in its grill. Get up in its grill. So what it's all about. There we go. <laughs> Simple fix. Now, let's uh, let's do a RAM preview and see what it looks like. Voila! There you go. Your diamond is now floating up and down on your desk. You know, we could adjust this a little bit. Maybe make that shadow a little bit less less uh, opaque, more transparent whatever you, you get what I'm saying that's a couple different things we could do to fix that we can make it so there's a little mask and that any kind of white or other colors that are behind the shadow or the shadow reflection are gone but that's the the basic principle I hope you enjoyed that I sure did uh, if you have any more questions about anything you saw in Minecraft office ask them and we will show you things uh, that is all and I'm going to throw it to the outro video Thanks for watching another episode of Glue. Don't forget to subscribe or leave us a comment. Uh, you can watch our Minecraft Office video, one, two, or three, here. And we hope you have a great day.